Hey guys, I'm here with a box opening from Bountiful Baby that just came in today. Um, I wanted to get this before. Oh my goodness, it's got a hole in it. Got a big hole right there, so we're going to open this up. I'll open it from the bottom because the top obviously has my address and um, for privacy protection and all that. Don't want to share your address online. And but they had these before these kits, and I wanted them, and they sold out really quick. And I happened to go on and look, and they had them again, and they had them on sale. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go on and. Grab some. So I placed an order. Oh my goodness. And these are pre painted. Oh my goodness. Even it has like the rings around the legs. These are the Oops, the fan just blew that. The Kinby Sculpts. And, my goodness, look how tiny that foot is. And she, it's a second, so like there's a little, you can see like a little scratch there. But, um, <clears throat> they had them on sale, I think they were 25 or 29. What does that one say? Nail. Says nail. Oh, like there's a little extra weight on that nail, maybe. This one says nail as well. Like, is that what the defect is? I don't know. I don't see like any. So there is the other leg. Little footsie. Oh, they all say nail with stickers all over it. Nail. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, like this one. This one's got a little extra weight on the, the nail. That's nothing. So here is the other arm. Look how tiny that hand is. Oh, my goodness. Or the other arm. That's the first arm. Here's the other arm little open hand. So cute. And tiny. So this is a biracial baby. And so I did get a biracial body, which is the full limbed body. And then the cute little head. So these are the Kinby sculpts, and they ha sell the Kinby dolls, but, oh my goodness, look at that little teeny base, and I love how the hair looks like it's textured, you know, like sculpted, and it says seconds on it, but, um, so if there's any little flaw or whatever from the sculpts that they make, they, ha they put them as seconds, but I don't, I mean... You can even see the ridges in the roof of her mouth. Oh my goodness. And look at the little fold in the ear. The details are so cute. So this is going to make a cute little baby. On camera they look a lot bigger, but they're not. I mean, look at my hand. They're, they're small. I mean, compared to your hand. Like, they're small. So, she would be like a little preemie. And she is the Amani. I-M-A-N-I. And then I got... These are little Kinby. They only had the pig little onesies. So, this will fit her. So, I got two of those because I bought two of these kits. So, I'm going to make 
one probably for my son Jake and then um, the other one I'm not sure I might do it for a giveaway I thought that would be fun um, but I remember when they had these I wanted one I was like oh I want to get one of those and so when I caught them on sale again I was like yep and I grabbed the bodies for them and everything so I just think they're so sweet and this is an easy way to make um, a reborn you can just wait it stuff it put the body on it she could take a really tiny modified pacifier but um, if you wanted to make an affordable reborn for your child or yourself or an elderly or whomever um, instead of paying the hundred dollars you can do it for 35 you know if you because I already have you know all the stuffing and waiting and all that so I will you know I don't need to buy the extra supplies so it's just like um, all together it was 80 something dollars with tax and shipping and all that so 80 something dollars for two fully painted kits you know and the bodies so and like I said I already have all the supplies so less than $100 for two babies is pretty good so when I found them on sale like that I snagged them so I just think they're adorable I have um, another haul too so uh, I have some other kits that I got and some other supplies and things like that so I'm gonna be um, I was like yep come fall time I wanna <laughs> I'm going to have all these to put together and everything for the holidays because, you know, in Vermont it gets cooler and um, you want to be able to have, you know, a hobby and things slow down and you can make them for the holidays, for gifts, um, giveaways, things like that and, um, I can't believe in, what is it, 10 days from now, my son will be 13. It seems like I just had him. It's like, oh my goodness. And <clears throat> my older two sons are grown, and that went by fast. But it's like, I'm used to him being my little guy. And now it's like the last couple weeks he's shown, like, he's getting older. Like, now he wants to wear cool baseball hats and he's got to carry his wallet and you know all this it's like what's next like cologne and jewelry and this you know what I mean but he still has that sweet child spirit and that's what you know I love that um he's he'll always be my little honey and uh he loves reborns he loves animals and um we just recently donated a bunch of stuff to the main society which um, he likes to go up there and see the animals but anytime he gets change or we take bottles back or anything like that they have this thing right where we take them back there's a bank and it's a, like a big old um, plastic like sad puppy and we will uh, he puts like all the bottle money in that he uh, we save the tabs off soda cans for kids with cancer He's, he's got a very generous spirit, and that's one of the best aspects I love about him. I mean, besides when he makes me laugh, like he does goofy things. He can do this certain face and make me laugh. So, I mean, of course, I love him for a million reasons, but um, the one thing I can say, my children, is I know they have a kind heart and a kind spirit, and... They're, they're selfless, you know what I mean? They're not selfish, and um, they're not, you know, they'll never be a bully, or you know what I mean? It's just, and that's a proud moment for a parent to know that, okay, you know, you instilled those values, but they, they still carry them out, you know what I mean? You can 
teach your children values, but if that, that to, for them to choose to live by them and continue to live by them is another blessing in itself, you know what I mean? So, um, he does, like I said, <clears throat> he's had a reborn since he was five, and he's not ashamed of it. He loves the babies, all that, so, um, he loves sculpting in clay, and I tell him when you get older, you could be a reborn sculptor. You could be sculpting the sculpts that we, you know, reborners paint. So, um, you know, he's really talented in sculpting, so, I, I said, you know, if you want to, there's plenty, you know, it's not going to go out of style, and there's some, you know, it express, you know, express your talent of artists, so, artistic talent. So, with that said, I want to say, I hope you all are doing well, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and dolly hugs and happy hauling.